Al Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Good morning, I'm Professor Cohn. This is the Forex Supermodel Daily Briefing for Tuesday the 3rd of the 8th, 2021. The time is just gone 0430, 430 in the morning GMT. Uh, Asian session coming to close, European session firing up our lunchtime, North American session. Right, Monday the 2nd of the 8th, yesterday uh, we had a positive unopposed driver in the yen at plus 166. No backdoor flows, the opposing uh, negative flows uh, mainly coming out of the pound at minus 114, out of the euro at minus 27, and the dollar was the negative rock at minus 25, activity plus or minus 166. Intra week then, this is from Monday the, uh, the 2nd, open to about 15 minutes ago. Again, we've got a positive unopposed uh, driver in the yen at plus 184, no backdoor flows, the opposing negative flows mainly coming out of the pound at minus 109, uh, out the uh, dollar at minus 48 and the euro was a negative rock at minus 27 activity plus or minus 184 um, right so do you remember last week we had uh, what did we have we had um, let's have a look we had uh, uh, the uh, the, um, the yen was uh, uh, no not the yen the, the dollar was driving negatively was the unopposed driver last week um, we had pound strength and uh, euro and yen were in the middle somewhere. So uh, so we had dollar weakness last week and Friday we started to see uh, a swing in those um, uh, uh, flows. Uh, we started to see uh, yen strength uh, and uh, a bit of dollar weakness. And now uh, we're seeing uh, yen strength, uh, significant yen strength yesterday and over the week so far. Intra week then, We've got uh, a positive, uh, sorry, a negative uh, opposed driver in, in the dollar, minus 28. Uh, front and back door flows mainly coming out of, uh, going into the, uh, the yen at plus 19, into the pound at plus 12, and the euro was the negative rock at minus 3 activity, plus or minus 31. So right then, so, so this week we've had, we've had uh, a swing into yen strength, uh, and now we're starting to see that yen strength peak out a little bit. <clears throat> where the yen's not driving now, the dollar's driving negatively. So that's something to bear in mind. Right, what's going to knock all this about? Well, um, we've got quite a lot on, as you know. Uh, we've got uh, the uh, AUD rates decision, which hasn't come out yet. Uh, the New Zealand uh, employment change, that's today. Tomorrow, Wednesday the 4th, we've got AUD retail sales, Euro retail sales, and the ADP report, which is a precursor to the NFP uh, employment report in the US. Thursday the 5th, we've got uh, Bank of England uh, rates decision, uh, so that's uh, significant. And Friday, we've got the NFP, uh, non-farm payrolls. Right, so uh, let's just get rid of this and uh, look at the flows <coughs> uh, in the Asian session, uh, just to give us a little bit more context and detail. Uh, and then we'll try and uh, make some sense of where the market's heading today. Right, so uh, let's have a look. Euro then um, is weak, except against the dollar, the CAD and the Swiss. The yen is strong, except against the NZD, which is stronger. The pound is strong except against the yen and the NZD. The Swiss is weak, except against the CAD. The CAD is weak across the board. The AUD is strong, except against the pound, the yen and the NZD, which are stronger. The NZD is strong across the board. Um, and the dollar is uh, weak, except against the CAD and the Swiss. 
So what have we got? We've got um, we've got CAD weakness across the board, New Zealand strength, and uh, the dollar the dollar is weak. Uh, is starting to show flow flow weakness. Okay, so we're going to take the pick in the middle. Right, so let's have a look at the asset classes, um, and then uh, draw some final conclusions. Our trades have uh, come back a little bit. Uh, they've worsened slightly, um, but we'll see how we go. Um, right, so US dollar index. Um, that's basically looking sort of like this. It's uh, 0.33 from the high. So it's come off a third from its peak. Uh, gold uh, has had this double top arrangement and it's 0.45 from the high. So it's it's uh, still weak, but uh, above half marks. Oil had that big break a while ago, came right back and it's now 0.35 from the high. So it's come off a third. Uh, Wall Street, <coughs> Wall Street's got this sort of treble top look to it, and it's 0.15 from the high, so it's come off about 15%. Uh, S and P, uh, you've got this break, and it's come off. It's 0.13 from the high, and the tech uh, is uh, similar, uh, 0.11 from the high. So, so they're all sub highs, 15, 13, and 11 percent roughly in model terms uh, and we've got the US 10 year remember this is the price of the bond uh, so we had this break in price yields coming off and now the price is coming up again so uh, softer US yields uh, and the bond which is the European equivalent uh, this break and it's still steaming so uh, Arguably, uh, European yields are marginally, uh, in model terms, softer than US yields, but the US is certainly catching up. But, but generally, yields are soft. Uh, right, uh, copper. Um, copper, remember, had this long chopping period. It then broke significantly, uh, and it's now come right back. It's 0.45 from the high. So they don't want to keep, keep the gains at copper at the moment. US steel. Had a bit of a, a pump off the back of the infrastructure bill, but it's come back. It's not point. It's half marks. It's 0.5 from the floor high. Right. So let's just have a look at what's going on, and then we'll uh, wrap it up. So uh, let's have a look. So we've got we've got a lot of data coming out this week. Um, a lot of significant swinging around uh, with data noise. Right. So. Right, so if you look at um, uh, this dollar, euro, yen, pound, um, the flows would suggest that the dollar is, is starting to come off. Okay, yen has been right up there. It it's, was the uh, unopposed uh, positive driver. It's now coming back. So yen, whilst, whilst is uh, strong, it, it's starting to peak out the yen. Uh, so, um, and the pound, the pound has been uh, has been taken down, uh, particularly against the yen, which we uh, suggested yesterday. Um, right, and, and the euro is going to be uh, sort of picking up the backdoor flows, if you like. So, so you're likely to see uh, a weaker dollar. So, uh, if I could write a weaker dollar, a negative dollar. Um, and those, those opposing positive flows uh, are likely to be tailing off from, so you're going to get a sort of a, a neutral to, uh, to positive yen and it, with, with a view to eventually turning round. And then so the positive flows um, are mainly going to be going into the pound um, <clears throat> at some stage. And remember we've got the BOE rates decision on Thursday. So... Um, and then the euro is going to be getting some uh, backdoor flows, positive flows. So, so you're going to get uh, a positive, a negative, uh, a positive turning negative, and uh, a negative turning positive. That's what we think is going to happen. So, uh, 
if you look at the um, uh, the dollar, and if you look at and if you look at the uh, the, the commodity currencies, the AUD um, the AUD dollar uh, is likely to uh, to to get a pump up at some stage off the back of the lower dollar and the swing around in flows. But that, don't forget, we've got the uh, the, the uh, AUD um, rates decision out shortly. So we'll see what they say. So anyway, I hope that was useful. See you tomorrow for the daily briefing. Thank you for watching.